Good day, everyone. Welcome to Production Line, Episode 2. And I uh, just wanted to start off by letting you all know that I have been running the game offline for a little while to get our research and development up to where we finished our first uh, R&D. And also, to speed it up, I added another two research officers that you can see me highlighting down here. I haven't changed anything else. Uh, I just wanted to get the R&D up to the point where we can move on to the next one. Now, uh, we have been losing a bit of money. The other thing, oh, sorry, I have done one other thing, and that is I put the price of our sedan B up and moved it into the mid-range because we were just selling them like hotcakes. So um, we put that up to make some more money and we've about stabilized at about $2 million. Now what I want to do is, and I'll just keep this going, when the R&D finishes for administration, I want to move straight away down to body design and get that going. Uh, and the reason is because I want to produce a new model. The competition is starting to beat us, the AI competition, by producing some additional features in their vehicles, which we hope to compensate for by producing a new model, which they have not done yet. So we're going to get um, two models on the market in two different categories. And hopefully that will keep our financials in good shape. Then I think we want to start adding some features and getting some new things going on there. So that, that's quite good for us. So why are we loitering? Don't loiter. Yay! We finished administration. We're going to choose the next research project, uh, which is body design and we're going to get a design studio. So 2,920 points, but I'm also going to spend some money because R&D is becoming the thing that we're going to need to be doing. And I'm going to put two more R&D offices down here. Um, so one in that should speed up our R&D efforts over there, which is good. And uh, let's have a look at the money. Oh, now we've spent another 200,000, or 140,000, I should say, right there. So that's going to hit our bank account quite severely. So, yes, we're down there. Oh, what's that mean? I have one. Oh, car stock sales. I have one in the showroom. Look for different body style. Oh, okay. Insufficient features, right? Yeah, so it's uh, starting to sell a bit slower, even though I put the price up. Not unexpected, but yep, 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 yep. So let's speed this up while we get going with our thing. Now, the next thing we ought to do, to so once we've done this specialization... Then I think we need to put in the guys, and maybe we'll put them over there. We'll get them working on that over there. We also want to be working on... Now, I wonder if that means we can do two separate things at once. Now, that's an interesting concept, isn't it? Wow, 100% of people don't want that body style. Holy dooly. New loan is available from the bank. Yeah, they think I'm going to go broke. They might be right. 1.9. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're selling, but they're not selling that fast. But we're not producing them as fast as they're selling. So that's a good thing. And in fact, that's probably what we want. R&D is doing Okay, but while we're doing the R&D, we need to go on to our next 
I think our next thing needs to be the car design, although that's expensive. Yeah, that is expensive. Maybe I did this, <laughs> maybe I did this real the wrong way. Maybe I should have just put more money into um, things up here. Okay, well, what we'll do is once we finish that, let's let's go and put something in else in process. Um, I would like to start working on the chassis. Could we do the chassis? Fit axles, fit fuel tank, fit undercarriage. So three. So chassis specialization. Let's check that out. Chassis. Right. That's not where our holdup is. Our holdup is fit body. What have we got in fit body? Fit body. Body specialization. Unlocks fit roof, fit doors, and fit body frame. We can do that. Okay, let's do that. I think I think I made a mistake by going on to the other one first. But I'm kind of wondering if I get two R&D types up, whether I can actually just progress with them differently anyway. Could be able to do that. We are going to find out very soon if that is the case. Okay, fit engine. So we're going to work with the fit body area. And that may move our problem down the line to paint. So we're probably going to have to move all these things up a bit, I think. Oh, air conditioning. Wow, okay. They've researched air conditioning, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, we're not out of the game yet. We're still close to the two million mark. So that's quite encouraging for us. And how far through this are we? 80, oh, 69%. Now I've got a little way to go. One car in the showroom. Rival company the research car alarm. Hmm. What's car alarm looking like? Very rare, rare. Okay, so there's not a lot of it about. Okay. Not All right. Two million. Okay, we're making a profit. That is good. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Yep, that's actually quite nice. Okay, that's the sort of thing we want to see. Because when we when we change our production facilities up, um, we're going to have to make more money to cover the cost of doing that. So, and we're doing up here, 84. Okay, we're getting there. So the first thing I want to do once we finish this is put in a, a design... Oh, what's that? Put in a design, mid-range room for uh, a studio for the body type and see if we can have a body type R&D going on at the same time as we have something else going on. Mind you, at this point, I do want to have a go at this because... Uh, I think we need to get the throughput of the vehicle. Even paint's a bit of a problem too now because we've got two cars backed up there. Mm. Right, we have done body design. Now, let's... Um, 
we'll go to design studio let's just pause for a second let's pause for a second all right let's come up here because we've got some space up here let's go and see if we can put in a design studio okay now what does a design studio allow us to do show all research what if we go and try to get the compact body going and at the same time come up here and do body specialization can we do that we have six research labs and one does it oh we can we can run them side by side excellent all right well let's just carry on because that's really good and of course then we're going to want to move these guys up now um, what happens actually what happens if I move you does it cost me money no it doesn't appear to um One, two, three, four, three, four. Um, just one second. Just, just dealing with real world. Just there for a minute. It's all very good. Okay. That's all catered for. Now, uh, we're going to move you. Two, three, four. Now, because we're doing that one, one, two, three, four. Okay, and we'll put in the conveyors because that's good. It only runs out and charges you money when it gets to an empty slot. Um, that's all good too. Right, now we need to... Get rid of you, 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 hang on, shift, does it shift key? Shift key, right. Um, now, what's going on up here? We can save ourselves a little bit of money, actually by doing this. That seems to work quite well. Um, now we are we are going to carry on doing that. You can just run over everything if you want, which seems to work okay. Okay. Are uh, we functional? I believe we are. Very good. Carry on, everyone. 
and no backlog up there at this moment. Right. How are we doing? There's two researches going on. The compact body is 1% and the body specialization is 17. That's pretty good. Let's put that up. Uh, we've moved everything, so I guess everything has to be resupplied now. Oh, another new bank loan. They must think I'm going to go bankrupt very quickly. Well, that may not be unreasonable, actually. I wonder if when you delete these, you get some money back. Let's see. 756693. 75668. Yeah, you do actually. Oh, nice. Okay. Hmm. Didn't like that. But okay, we can do that. That is fine. All right, let's carry on. Yay! Okay. Body specialization is done. Now, we need to look at maybe doing some technology in the car. Now, um, things that make people happier are obviously going to be more important. Um, hmm. Hang on, I'm just going to think about this for a second. Now, my thinking on this leads me to the conclusion that there's only really one in the music area there that's going to be good, so maybe not. What about items that make things more pleasant, like air conditioning and heaters, climate control, whatever, interior... And that way, we can head towards a better mid-range model. So, let's do that. Okay, so we've done that. So we're going to go for luxury. Now, let's just stop here for a minute because this is where we want to do stuff. Now, what we can do here is in fit body... Hang on, where are we? Fit body. This is fit body. Plus. Now, do you remove the fit body one and replace it with these? Fit body shell, fit hood, fit trunk, fit bumper. Body shell, hood, trunk, bumper. And then, where's fit roof? door panels, fit roof, and then fit door panels, fit windows and wing mirrors, windows and wing mirrors, this doesn't do windows and wing mirrors, but I think what you do see there's more, it fit fits windows and mirrors but this does not oh it does sorry when it does the doors it does so we are going to upgrades Well, 
I think we're going to delete you. That's what I think we're going to do. And in your place, we're going to put one. Two. And three. And then what I want to do is get some more efficiency going on and remove you um, somehow I should be able to remove you no all right let's not worry about that Let's do this. Because this is this this may the, this isn't the first time we're doing this, and it certainly won't be the last time we're doing this. Because there will be quite a bit of this going on in our factory as we work towards um, setting things up and making everything more efficient. So that'll be one. And that'll be two. And this one, of course, has to be on the other side over there. Like that. And that is how that rolls. So, this should actually move the bottleneck from here to there, if this efficiency is where we think it's going to be. And, of course, we have to build up our resources as well. Message from the Chief Operating Officer. As you so rightly say, more cars in the mid-range sedan section. More cars in the mid-range sedan section. Well, you know what we could do? What we could do is move the mid-range sedan section up to seriously high and see how that goes. Well, that could cause some interesting outcomes, couldn't it? it suddenly jumped up into the mid-range section there. It's going to take a minute for this to flow through, but what we should be seeing is more throughput here than we had previously, and the bottleneck should start to occur up there. Now, before, we had a bottleneck of three, I think it was, or a lag of three, so we need to be seeing a bit more lag up there, and we know that this has been more productive, or more efficient, I should say, not productive. There's one car in the showroom. That's all right. We can always adjust the price. That is the least or the easiest thing to manipulate in the market is the price. The manufacturing process, a bit more difficult. And in fact, I've, I've, I've got an idea... Yeah, see, I've got an idea here. What we could do is make a new model. Because when that research is finished, we get environmental features. So let's just pause this for a second. We've got two there. Let's have a look at our stock. So the sedan B isn't selling at 44. Let's bring it down to 40. Yep, 40. Thank you. 
and keep going. Oh, what's happened there? Right, we need a new one. So I'm going to go first of all with air conditioning and put air conditioning in the mid-range car. Message from the Chief Operating Officer. We need to produce more mid-range cars. Well, thank you if you're a rocket scientist. I'm so glad we've got a Chief Operating Officer that's got his, his finger on the pulse of the very marketplace in which we operate. And it would be hard to imagine a world in which we didn't have such a wonderful guy. Game has been auto say Thank you. Yeah, we've still got the bottleneck there, but we're already back up to the bottleneck there, so I think the efficiency is starting to flow through. And what I want to do now, uh, this is my current thinking at the moment, is um, we're going to have a look here, and we're going to get a new one, and we're going to call it Sedan... Uh, Actually, it doesn't really matter what we call it, because B is budget, but or B actually could be basic. And we create a new one. Yeah, if we create a new one with the air conditioning in it, we put that in the ridge mid-range, and then we drop our original one, which is the B for budget, down uh and then put the features in the mid-range model. That should keep the mid-range going. And uh, that should give us two models on the market. And uh, that should work out pretty well. So we just wait for that. In fact, let's just speed that up because I want to get, if I can get those two going, I'd like to do that in this episode. That would be really good. And we're 30, we're 40% there. So that's not going to be too long. Let's so speed this up and have a look from the high vantage points. Okay, we definitely have improved the efficiency down here because now we've got a bigger bottleneck up here. And in fact, we might end up with a full bottleneck up there. Yeah, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Mid-range section, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we are almost there. Hooray, we have... Ah, we have to fit aircon. Ooh, okay. All right, hold on. Let's just put... We are paused. The research you just completed unlocked a completely new slot that you can now place in the slot picker. Instead of an upgrade to an existing slot, you should be able to find the slot from the new text on the slot picker. Yeah, well, yes, we are familiar with that. Now, I wonder where you go. Uh, let's go and find you. Fit accessories. Fit aircon. Fit accessories. Where are accessories? Fit engine. Fit accessories. Why is it going the wrong way? Seems to be wanting to do that a lot. Okay, well there's aircon for you. Um, so what we need to do is... Uh, sorry, we need to get the resource conveyor resourcing. Like so. And then we need to make a new model. Okay, so here we go. So this is our budget. So we're going to create a similar model 
called the sedan um, F for features. Ooh, hang on. Why won't it get rid of that? That's why. Okay. Sedan. Hmm. Let's call it Sedan Mark 1. I mean, for no other reason than that, that, that we can. Let's stick it up in the luxury and give it air conditioning. The market value is 3,354. Uh, and I've got it on sale for 164,000. I don't really think so. Market value. Well, I'm, I'm tempted to put it at the top of the mid-range category. Well, actually, no. How about the early part of the expensive category? See how we go. Okay, now, if we come down here, if we look at the production schedule, add new entry, we need... Okay. This screen lets you look at each of the lines you have in your factory. A line is created every time you place down the first slot in the process. Each line can produce a number of different designs. And when they get to the bottom of the list, production starts again from the beginning. Uh, okay. So we're going to add the sedan mark one. We want two Bs for every one. Okay, so one third of all the vehicles will be sedan Mark 1s. Is everybody happy with that? I think so. Cool, let's see how that goes. So production schedule, sedan Mark 1. Oh, what's happening here? Right, we finished air conditioning. Uh, I think I would like to go for power steering as our next research point. And as you can see in this area, I'm, I'm fairly picking it based on my own preferences, what I think is going to work and or sell. So we just got a Mark 1, came off the production line. Then we're doing a Sedan B. Now, how is Aircom going up here? This is Fit Accessories, but this one should be Aircom. No. Oh, wait a minute. Something wrong is going on. Hang on. Hold it. Why have I got two of those? What I should have had was a fit aircon. Fit. Fit aircon. Fit aircon. Ah, thank you. Wow, that was bad. Just as well we caught that before the first model Mark I got there. Um, right, we need to bring the resource conveyor around to there. And then 
Um, actually, delete that one because we don't want that one there. Like, I don't think that was quite what we wanted. Um, is that going to work or not? Let's turn it on and see. No root, right? Okay, we can fix that. You oh, and a root there. Oh, okay, well, that's fine, I think. We, I'm very curious to see the Mark 1 come through. Where is that going? Oh, that goes that way to the air conditioner. Okay. Ah, see, he didn't even stop there. So he's definitely not a Mark 1. And what are you... Wow, there's definitely a bottleneck now. That's a B, 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 B. Oh, really? I thought I would have had a Mark 1 by now. Where's the Mark 1? B. Are uh, there no... Unless... Oops. I thought I created a Mark 1. Um, it's a B. Where's the Mark 1? What have we got in there? Oh, we got four. We could possibly drop their price. Market. Breakdown on the market demand for each combination of car body type. Okay. What I would like to do, though, is drop your price from 40 down to 36. And you are a 52, but where are you? So Dan Mark 1. I thought I produced you. Dan Mark 1. Well, I don't know where the Mark 1's gone. There it is. My gosh, that's slow. <gasps> no, don't do that. So it's going to be a while, I think, before we get up. Oh, oh we got driver assistance. Okay, cool. Uh, and the next one I think we're going to want is power steering. Why doesn't it like me doing power steering? Ah. Oh, requires fit steering wheel. Oh, I see. Ooh, interdependencies. So where would be fit steering wheel? Okay, hang on. Power steering needs upgrade at slot, fit steering wheel. Steering specialization. Steering specialization. Where's steering specialization? Steering specialization. S 
safety. Hang on, safety features is a spare wheel? Wow, okay. Steering specialization. Where might steering specialization be? Steering adjustment. Steering specialization. Oh, is that a process? Engine specialization. More robots. Administration. Advanced production. No. Specialization. Steering specialization. Steering specialization comes under engine specialization. Whoa. Okay. I'm okay to do that. Now, what was the other thing we needed? Um, power steering. Unlocks upgrade at slot. Fit steering wheel. Fit steering wheel. Fit steering wheel. In what section? Um, chassis? No. Body frame? No. Body frame. Fit engine. Upgrade. No. Upgrade. No. Bluetooth phone support. No. Paint, no. Fit doors, fit roof, fit body frame, no. I don't see it. Fit doors, fit roof, paint, fit engine. You would think it would be in fit engine if it was going to be anywhere. Fit accessories. All right, hold on. Where where are steering wheels? Ah, see, this is where it all becomes very interesting. Axle. Anything look like a steering wheel? Well, it doesn't look like it. All right, hold on. This is quite tricky. Paints for known technologies. Power steering. Unlocks upgraded slot. Fit steering wheel. Driver assistance. At slot. At slot. Alright, let's hold that thought for a minute. At slot. Fit body. Oh, oh, ho fit accessories, fit aircon, no. fit engine, fit steering assembly, there you go, we need the fit steering assembly, okay, fit steering assembly. Make a note. Fit steering assembly has been noted. Um, now, where is that? One might ask, because we're about to find it. Fit steering assembly. Process. It's got to be in a process. Chassis specialization. Uh, paint engine oh okay fit steering assembly we're almost going to get that so we're good for that um, now are you in fact you're a B you're a B are there any oh there it is we have 
fit steering assembly. Uh, now, just hold that thought for a minute because what I would like to do fit steering assembly goes in fit engine which is after the paint job so we get to do all of these one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight we need to do all of those so I think we should do all of those now. So, what are you? You're a B. I don't want another B. Actually, what's in the showroom? A B, a B, a B, and a B. Well, the Bs need to be dropped in price for a start because they just do. Let's drop them down to 30,000. See if we can't move them at 30,000. And then, let's take care of this issue. So the first one is, fit power train, fit radiator, fit exhaust, fit wheel assembly, move these back a bit because they take up too much room but very exciting but well over our 40 minutes but that's okay because we're making some good stuff here now oh look at you you're just going to cause me trouble, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So it would seem. All right, so we've got that. And now we're going to run you to there. And you do all of that. You do this one. And you might as well do that one while you're over there. Okay. Uh, oh, we need a conveyor belt. Which of course goes this way. Thank you so very much. Uh, and there you go. So we can proceed waiting for resources. Now, we can upgrade you. Oh, no, we can't. Now, very odd. Car designs. Ah, oh, is it? Has it finished? Why is it flashing at me? Why is it flashing? Why is it flashing? Design studio, show all research. Research now. Why is it flashing at me? Oh, because we haven't selected any more normal research? Maybe. I'm guessing. Uh, all right, let's. You're moving along at regular speed. So, what else did we need for. Um, power steering. Steering. Oh, sorry. Fit steering wheel. Unlocks upgraded slot. Fit steering wheel. No. Steering specialization. 
It needs steering specialization. Steering specialization. Steering specialization. There you go. Now, hopefully, it's not flashing at me anymore. Very good. And we've got a bottleneck there. But we are going to have good things happening up here. When we get there. Hmm. We might be running out of space up there very soon. That's a B. Uh, what have we got in the showroom? Bees. Bees are not doing very well at the moment, are they? No. We're going to have to drop the price right down to... 22000 And cost you now B for budget. Message from the Chief Operating Officer. Looks like we need to produce more cars in the expensive sedan market. Yay, thank you very much. Very good. Be very nice to get rid of the... Oh, we got rid of those. Well, we got rid of a lot of those. Uh, so I think 22 might be a bit cheap. Let's go with 24. That might be the way to go with that one. Okay, well, they're all sold. Okay, well, that's good. It's a B. Okay, so we're actually doing not too badly. Um, yeah, no, we're doing okay, actually. But definitely paint is the next bottleneck. And though I think I'm probably going to have to change up this layout. Um, in fact, we might end up having to dog leg this to make sure we have enough um, in our chain. We are going to have one line on which we make everything so i think that's going to be where we're going to need to be at with that uh, except probably when we get to the sports car we might have a separate line for the sports car but but ladies and gentlemen we we're, we're well up over the 40 minutes into our episode and i think it's time to call it so i would like to thank you all very much for joining me today i hope you're enjoying our production line, it's certainly going to tax our, well, maybe not our, but my poor little brain, uh, and we'll see where we can end up as we go along. Oh, hang on, this is a different one. The level of competition in the marketplace has changed recently. You should keep an eye on such things as component prices, wage rates for employees, and the prices we are selling at when the level of competition changes. When competition is high, sales prices will be lower and wage, wages, rent and component prices will rise. Take action. Customer leads to your showroom for our CPC. Competitiveness of car market 41. Your total market share 7%. That's not much. That is not much mid-range zero. Now what have we got in sedan mid-range? Total market share seven point nine seven, and in the expensive three point nine seven. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, so we're producing and uh, going along quite well. We do have a bottleneck though, but bottlenecks indicate that at least we're making stuff. So. 
uh, that's going to fill up fairly quickly. So we've got some challenges ahead of us in episode three, which will be coming to a gig channel near you very soon. So I will look forward to seeing you once again at the gig channel when that episode turns up. And until then, I hope you all stay well, and I'll see you all later. Bye.